So now there are going to be some questions that are going to be addressed now while the discussion is in progress. One of the most important question is that the moment a topic is given across to us and it looks very very familiar and we have a lot of content to talk about the same. Should we give out all our content at the moment that we are able to speak across and we get the chance to be able to do so? The answer is of course no. You may want to probably speak out every bit of information that you have probably known about the same topic of concern but always restrict yourself and speak quality rather than quantity. As I had mentioned earlier as well, at the time of the group discussion, even by the panel of members, what is really highly looked up as that what is the quality of your content, how much of facts and figures are you supporting it with, how many live examples are you being able to give across along with the same and if you have some quantitative figures, it's always good to be able to quote that as well rather than indulging yourself into stories and anecdotes that you may have heard in the past related to the topic but may be of little concern to other participants at the time of group discussion. So restrain yourselves from indulging yourself into a lot of quantity. The next important question is, should I encourage the others to speak up? Yes, you can. The answer is yes, why? But only if you have the ability to lead, you have the qualities to showcase as a leader, which means that you have the ability to take the members of the group along with you. Now, if there is somebody who's constantly been trying to talk and is not being able to get that chance, as showcasing your ability to lead, you can always ask them and help them to participate in a group discussion where you think you will be able to snatch away a time for them to be able to speak. But do not let at the cost of your time where you need to speak and give across your input go across to them many a times. Yes, you can do it occasionally, but not something which can be encouraged on a continuous basis. Another question that we can address here is, that should we distribute the total time available to all the participants if we think that they're not getting a chance to be able to speak? So my friends remember, this is a group discussion. It is not a debate or it is not a session or a platform where every participant is given across the same amount of time to be able to speak. So let them decide it for themselves rather than trying to become the leader who is trying to direct them at the very onset of a group discussion. Do your own bit and occasionally if you think you would like to allow somebody to speak up, yes you can do it but not something which can be encouraged on a continuous basis. A very important and a tricky question at this stage also arises as that can we take a definitive stand which means for or against, yes or no for a topic which could be an opinion seeking topic or a controversial topic and later on change our stance that we may probably want to choose up the other side as well. So the answer is yes of course you can do it provided that you are being able to rationalize it and give it across with reasonings where you may say that you know I was not able to probably look at it in a uh, of such a broad way and I was not being able to evaluate it but by after listening to my views of my fellow participants I have been able to understand that there is a broader perspective to the entire spectrum of this topic the way we look at it and I would uh, be equally be okay to be able to uh, um, uh, accept the other side of the party as well. So that is something that of course you can do provided as I said that you need to rationalize it well and explain it to the panel of members so that you are not looked down upon, upon as somebody who is able to change across his views and opinions the moment he gets influenced or intimidated by anybody else externally. Now when we are given across a topic, I want to ask you that do you always want to stick to the line of thought that is a regular line of thought or do you think that you can change and become a little more creative? Any answers to that? So the answer is of course you can and in an abstract topic you must if you have the ability to be able to analyze and perceive the entire topic in your own creative way rather than looking at it the same way that others are doing it so throughout the discussion you may please do so but please make sure that you do not divert away from, away from the topic at all.